when you get this right, this will attract the right kind of customers and it'll also weed out those who aren't likely ever to convert into paying clients or customers, never mind becoming your raving fans. Welcome to the first episode of the Master Your Business podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Martin. I have to forewarn you. You may occasionally hear noises and sounds that are not overly common on your typical professional podcast. Things like snoring, farting, and much more. But I promise you, they're not for me. They're from one of my three Bernie's mountain dogs, Bruno, Brody, and Portia, who may be lying at my feet as I record these shows. Folks, I'm super excited to get started on today's show because I couldn't really think of a better show to share with you high achieving business owners first. So I chose and wrote this episode specifically for you. And it's all about the power of customer experience and brand strategy, which I believe are fundamental when it comes to mastering your business. As a business owner, you know yourself, success is not an accident. It takes hard work, dedication, and the right strategies to get your business off the ground and keep it running. I can't recall the person's name, but somebody on Shark Tank said, it's only entrepreneurs who will spend like 80 hours working for themselves before they'll spend 40 hours working for someone else. Hands up, that's me, right? But one of the most important strategies to achieve that success beyond the hard work and dedication It's customer experience, not just customer service, customer experience. In my opinion, creating a successful business hinges on these two elements, customer experience and brand strategy. Let's explore what these two can do for your business. I'm going to go through five steps with you. And step one is Customer experience is more than just service. So this is like a paradigm shift. I'm constantly trying to bring my clients through so they understand this. Typically, when people think of customer experience, CX, they often think of excellent customer service, but there is so much more to it than that. CX is a holistic approach to understanding what customers want from their interactions with your brand, and determining how to give them what they want in a way that makes your business profitable. So you see, it extends way beyond service. It includes brand strategy, brand style, and brand story. It includes marketing messages and having a marketing presence that continuously captivates your ideal client's attention. Taking this holistic approach It's not about being spiritual or anything like that. It's basically where you create journeys that make the entire experience magical for your customers. So much so that they go on to become raving fans telling anyone who listen about how great you are. Those are the best kind of customers. Step two is about creating a brand strategy that resonates. So the first step in creating an effective CX strategy is developing a strong brand strategy. Now, if you're a brand strategist, you might say that actually the first step in creating an effective CX strategy is in developing the brand strategy. It's kind of like a chicken and egg scenario. I feel when it comes to CX and brand strategy. Your brand strategy should be built around a core value or mission statement or purpose that reflects who you are as a company or a brand or a business, but also what you stand for. You should also clearly define who your ideal client is so that all aspects of your CX are tailored towards meeting those needs. When you get this right, my friend, oh my God, this will attract the right kind of customers and it'll also weed out those who aren't likely ever to convert into paying clients or customers, never mind becoming your raving fans. Step three is about the power of brand strategy and brand storytelling. So the next step here is to to craft a story about how your program, product, or service solves your ideal client's problems. 
Your story needs to be compelling enough so that it captures their attention and makes them want to learn more about what you offer, how you can help them. And one of the best ways to do this is to literally speak in your customer's language. It's like taking the words that they use and applying it in your marketing message and in your brand story. And when you do this, it shows your understanding. It shows that you're kind of on the same wavelength, which basically builds trust and results in your ideal clients engaging with you rather than with another company offering similar solutions. Crafting an effective brand strategy and story, it does take time, but it helps ensure that those who are drawn to your business, they're the right people. And when you draw the right people to your business, they are much more likely to remain loyal customers for years to come. Step four is about designing journeys and experiences that wow. Once you've established your brand strategy and story, it's time to design a journey and experiences that wow. And what I mean by this is when you're creating these journeys, it's about considering every single step that your customer has to take as a part of the process, as part of doing business with you. From that first contact all the way through to where your marketing message is delivered and what the sales conversations is going to look and sound like. And then it's about applying or aiming for at least consistency throughout each phase. And what I mean by that is taking into account all the channels like your social media platforms, the content on your website and so on. Everything basically that's used during the journey and all of these channels ideally reflecting the exact same message and having a similar feel while still being tailored specifically for the different platform maybe that you're showing up on or for the different audience that you're trying to attract. And yes, customer service is important, but not just any ordinary customer service. It's about striving for near perfection when it comes to customer service, because this will help solidify your position as a go-to for the programs, products, and services that you offer. Something I get asked a lot is exactly what is a journey map and like, what will it do for my business, right? So here is a quick breakdown. A journey map is basically a visual representation of how customers interact with your business so that they can achieve their goal. And it's a tool to help you better understand your customer relationships, which benefits your business. It can be used as a guide to enable you to see the steps your customers have to take whilst engaging with your business. I think that they're a great technique to identify ways to save money be it on systems, technology, processes, resources. If you're into lean, a journey map can be helpful. But I always think, and this is what I say to my husband when he talks to me about Lean Six Sigma, is that lean is missing two letters at the end, E and R. E being empathy and R being relationships. So if you were to take customer experience and apply it to the lean framework, it should become leaner. <laughs> And this is what I mean. So yes, it might save on systems, technology, processes, resources, but it factors empathy and relationships. And without empathy and relationships, you know, those are the things that impact customers. So if you're losing clients somewhere along your journey, you know, this approach using customer journey mapping could help you identify exactly where the bumps are and then help you figure out how you might smooth out that journey. I think it's a highly effective tactic as well to identify opportunities to cross sell and to upsell so that you can effectively increase your customer lifetime value and ultimately your profits. It's a great way to really get clarity on the touch points your customers have with your business. So I hope that quick little snapshot helps clarify what a customer journey map is. And in the show notes, you can get your free customer journey map checklist where I break down for you how this checklist will help you identify exactly who the journey you've created is for, which is helpful if you have multiple audiences or ideal clients, how to clarify what the journey is within your business right now, 
and how to create your own visual representation. So there are some samples available as well. So there's a link in the show notes where you can enter your details and get that checklist for free. So coming back to the fifth step, right? Delivering on your promise with great customer service. So the last piece in completing the puzzle is delivering on whatever promises were made when you were designing solutions for clients with great customer service making sure every interaction that you are striving for perfection but that that interaction whether it's employees representatives of yours or even automated processes that they're professional and seamless stress-free hassle-free yet friendly so that customers feel appreciated at all times during their journey with you And, you know, why this is essential is because when people feel appreciated and valued, employees and customers alike, they are much, much more likely to remain loyal to your business. And the key here to this, to this step, the key is having a knack for understanding what people need before they even know they need it. This requires you staying ahead of trends in both industry news as well as consumer behavior regarding all sorts of programs, products and services that come into the market, even if they're outside your own industry. Think about Amazon one click and what it's done to the rest of us. So when done correctly, this can help keep your current customers engaged while also enticing new ones into becoming loyal followers of your brand. It's through providing solutions in this way that companies create those long lasting relationships with their customers. And when done right, these relationships can be extremely profitable in terms of revenue growth over time. So folks, let's summarize episode one of Master Your Business. Growing a successful business isn't easy, but it doesn't have to be impossible either. Success hinges on customer experience and brand strategy because without customers, we have no business. By leveraging customer experience through building a strong brand strategy based on core values, defining who your ideal client is, developing solutions tailored towards their needs and delivering on whatever promises were made through great customer service, you can create an amazing journey for each person who interacts with your brand. With these components in place, it won't be long before word spreads about how great working with you really is. And in no time at all, you're going to find yourself at the top of the list when people look for businesses like yours. And you can bet your bottom dollar that the sales and growth will follow suit. Doing these things will set up high achieving businesses like yours for long term success by creating lasting, profitable relationships with your customers. Something certainly worth striving for, if you ask me. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. And please remember to subscribe, share and review this episode. Thanks for tuning in.